I guess my love for uh, fire trucks kind of began out of just a, a love for mechanical things. You know, as a kid, I had all those kinds of things as toys. The firemen would particularly ride on the back, and that was kind of a classic when you would see this fire truck going to a fire, you saw the lights going, the sirens, real acoustic sirens on the fire engine, and then you saw very kind of austere, the firemen riding that back uh, tread plate back there, holding on to the bar with their, their, their firefighting helmets, the black coats on, so it was kind of, to a young kid like myself, that was kind of an impressive sight when you saw a fire engine going to a fire. As Robbie says, it's the kids that are really impressed with it. They're, they're, this gives them this opportunity to see something that they'll never see anywhere else. It's a by, as he says, it's a bygone era. And I think all my passions have been stimulated from a real internal interest. And then to take it and do something with it and maybe show other people and things like that. I think if we ourselves enjoy passions like a fire truck or an organ or choral singing, then really the way to pass it on is to teach it. What was uh, impressive was seeing the process of restoration. Because in the process of restoration, everything on this truck that wasn't welded together was taken off. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I enjoy it because, uh, well, it's a, it's a sense of accomplishment. I, I can see the, 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 the end product coming about. And in that regard, it's a real sense of satisfaction to know somebody has got something like this. I don't know why I bought it. You know, it was there, I guess. You know, why did anybody climb Mount Everest? Because it was there. But when I was a kid, I remember seeing trucks like this. This truck is just, I think, the epitome of what a fire truck looks like.